What's up guys, welcome to the seven figure funnels and flywheels presentation. I really uh, recently presented this at the high level level up summit uh, in Texas, Dallas. And um, it was a funny thing that happened. Um, electricity went out for 10 minutes. And so I had no microphone, no slides. I just continue because I remember the slides, but because the recording, I'm not sure exactly how good it's gonna be without the microphone and everything. I wanted to do it again and just upload it here for you guys. So with that said, Let's dive in. Certificate funnels and flywheels. How to scale without you being involved in the day to day uh, with a flywheel and funnel ecosystems and all the good stuff. Um, 30 seconds about me. My name is Kostan Son. I'm in, in uh, Finland, 29 years old. I'm married to a beautiful wife, got two beautiful daughters, and I live pretty simple. I just live here, work from home in this studio. Instead of a garage, I built this to be able to do stuff like building funnels and uh, make videos sharing what I'm learning in the process. I built 500 plus funnels. I worked with some of the biggest clients in the world. Uh, 3,000 plus customers buying my templates and uh, information, education, coaching, and funnel build out services. Um, also, I got a high level uh, a software called funnels.so that we partnered with high level to create. I'm also an affiliate for high level and other softwares to help you build online businesses. So um, I worked with hundreds of clients and my system to getting these clients are pretty unique because i don't do any cold calls or cold emails or anything like that but we'll cover that more here in a second um or to tony robbins i was approached by them on facebook the team reached out and i built the first uh not the first but for me first one i built for them was a upw and went, unleash the power within and uh it looked like this when i was done and we launched this to sell tickets to his event and then i was interviewed by tony's partner dean Graciosi because um, he wanted me over to mastermind.com because he was the CEO of both those brands. And uh, I worked on the Time to Thrive Challenge Funnel for the most part. Also did other funnels like webinar funnels and a few other uh, projects. And we got uh, 900,000 leads coming through that Time to, to uh, Thrive Challenge Funnel. It was one of the biggest one in history uh, ever. It was a lot of fun, I learned a lot, uh, a lot and uh, that one looked like this. And I worked with uh, Dan Kennedy, uh, did the market, magneticmarketing.com homepage. I was hired by Russell Brunson, who reached out on Facebook. And I've built uh, a lot of funnels for Russell as well in his projects. And here's a few other clients uh, that I worked with, including uh, Jordan Welch, Krista Mayshore, um, Robert Kiyosaki, Steve Larson, uh, Mark Lack, um, Josh Nelson, a lot of amazing, cool clients. So. What you're gonna learn though is something that isn't just for a specific type of clients. And I work mostly with personal brands and info businesses, but it works for everything because it's principle and belief-based conversion hacks. Okay, so what you're gonna learn is not it's not a just a page structure like a funnel framework, but it's first understanding what makes people purchase, then how you put, then how do you put that into a sales page? So before that though. The reason why I needed sales funnels, because some of you might be thinking, I know kind of what funnels are, I've heard of it, but I don't know exactly what all the powers that funnels have in, you know, that, that you know, all the things they can do in my business. And so this is a client that I had. They had a recent client when I did social media marketing, right? This was like six, seven years ago when I got into this online space and I wanted to do social media marketing because that's what people needed then. They did newspaper, they needed social media. And so we did a real estate open house listing for a real estate client. And I think it was Wednesday, 6 p.m. And um, I was uh, was filming a video from the location department. And it was up there, you can see uh, where the arrow is at. And, <coughs> excuse me, I filmed it on my iPhone. And we put it out on Facebook, we boosted it, spent money because it was locally. We just wanted a lot of people to see it. Obviously within a, you know an age bracket of people that we thought could uh, be interested in buying uh, this apartment. But I didn't have any way of tracking how many signups we got, right? Because I didn't ask for, I didn't launch a funnel for people to sign up, register. I just said, hey, open house listing 6 p.m. And so down the road there, I sat at a uh, cafe so I could see the door where, uh, you know, people entered to the open house listing and 555 came by and nobody showed up and I was freaking out because I was like, they hired us to do the video and I was happy with the video, the cinematic shots, 
but nobody showed up and i was like man this is why the system sucks for us because we can't track the results we didn't even ask for access to their homepage and um the systems that they had and so you know because some some businesses when you run ads obviously you can see the leads that are coming through but we didn't ask for any of that we just did social media marketing and so 559 i was super nervous i was sitting there watching and waiting for people to show up 559 people started showing up and a lot of people showed up and then it was like relief like whew, people actually show up and it was a success um but then it hit me kind of like i would rather work with people where we can launch a lead magnet an online course a book an event or an application funnel where people book calls we can track exactly how many leads how many sales how many clients do we get you know in this funnel and then if you spend money on it you can see instant roi and obviously i've learned so much um about these things now but the power truly lies in the sales funnel because sometimes you may run ads to lead magnets but then you have an application phone funnel right to get people to book calls sometimes you just run ads to low ticket and have a higher ticket on the back end you have upsells cross sells all of these things and so that's when i realized i needed to use funnels so i can track results and so we switched to funnel agency for personal brands because i also wanted to work with people like us that have the same growth mindset personal education and self-development you know and so that's how i started building funnels and in this presentation i want to share how i made seven figures uh, personally as well as done it for multiple clients obviously um using funnel ecosystems and there's two ways really to um to increase profits and make more keep more in your pockets in your business the first one is max amount of customers mac so find as many customers as possible the second one is mlvc max lifetime value per customer so increase the value of each of those that you find find more make them worth more right and i'm going to show you how to use funnels to do that so my responsibility and mission is then to find more customers serve them as much as possible because i use something i call the gap and the bridge and so i thought okay people want to learn uh, more about funnels they're at this stage they're starting out they want to get to point b let's say they're starting from zero. They want to make their first one million. It could take six months, 12 months, 18 months, but they want to make their first million. I'm like, what are all the things that people are buying? They're already spending money on that I could serve them with. So we got templates, consulting, done for you funnels, certification, white label SaaS. So softwares, obviously all in one softwares. There's high levels, the click funnel system. Um, there's also all these softwares. But I was like, okay, if I did all of this for them and serve them to the max, what would it look like? And I put everything under the bridge because then I can, I can shorten the gap and I can help them get to where they want to be. So I went from selling one service to adding both passive and active revenue streams. And I call this the funnel ecosystem where you have, let's say, $49 templates. You have a $99 uh, software. You have $10,000, $5,000 funnel builds. You have a 1K per month, maybe optimization service or email service. And then you have a 3K, 5K, 7K coaching program. And then you just pick a niche and you do everything for them. Right? So if you do real estate, if you do software, you do SaaS uh, templates for software owners, you do uh, software funnel build outs. Like I've got clients right now where I do software build outs as well. We got softwares who build their uh, website and funnels on our funnels that are so software. Right. So, you know, a lot of people ask, should I do active, like done for you service or should I do um, digital products as well or affiliate marketing or, or passive? You know, it's like, which one should I choose? And my question is, like, why not both? It's only a distraction if you're trying to serve two different markets. So you have a, a software to help this market and then you're trying to also sell something else to this market. And now your personal brand is split and people don't know exactly who you are. The perception of you splits. Um, and it's not concise and clear, but you can do both if you're in one market, right? And so what really made the difference is I became the go-to for one thing, sales funnels. And then I went deep instead of like broad and I solved all the layers in that market. And so three things I want to uh, focus on three areas of scale is funnel frameworks, the actual sales pages, the funnel ecosystems are the different, you know, multiple streams of income and the different funnels front to back end. And then funnel flywheels, the fuel that fuels the funnels so that they start spinning 
by themselves. Okay. And the first one I call the seven step value maximization for, uh, flywheel, because this is both the funnel ecosystems and the flywheel. So we'll start with the ecosystem. First thing that I talked about is how can you find new customers? So where can you easily find them? You know, increase the amount of customers you can find in the market. For example, Facebook groups, YouTube, short form videos. Where can you find more of those people? Second one is convert in the first funnel. So what funnel can you use to convert leads into paying customers? Not just opt-ins, but how can you convert them into a customer that pay you once? So I got a bundle of low ticket like funnel templates. The, the value to price ratio is crazy because like most people would charge this much. I only charge this much for you know double the value or 10 times the value. So get more of your visitors that come to you to become leads and then customers. So an example, low ticket wow bundles. Bundle stuff together, that's like zero fulfillment for you because it's all automated, it's digital. But it's a it's a wow type of thing where it's worth so much more than they're paying. And then number three is upsell. So increase the amount of money they spend with you day one. So if they buy funnel templates for me, uh, maybe they want also, you know, learn how to design and customize it for them. So it could be a design masterclass. Uh, could be a private community. So what's the next step that you can sell them that logically fixes the new problem that uh, that, um, that they got by solving the first one? So if uh, if you sell them a fitness workout plan, the next problem could be like the diet, you know, to support the fuel for the body. So number four is then cross-selling supporting products. Uh, so what new problems are they facing consistently? Uh, offer similar products or service they need later. So maybe if I do funnel templates, then design masterclass, then in the future, maybe they need a copywriting masterclass as well to learn that part or funnel agency masterclass. Okay. And then number five, ascend to backend. So invite them to backend high ticket products or services. So maybe from course, you do one-on-one -on -one coaching out of a market of a thousand. There's always going to be 50 to hundred people who want that one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if you sell templates, there's going to be that, you know, five to 10% of people who just want you to do it instead. So you can even give away templates. I've done this or give away templates and people ask me to, to build it, customize it for them. They pay thousands for that. Number six is retain monthly. So what's something they'll need every single month, right? So service or products that every month is like, it's valuable because they, it's going to be different or it's just going to be like they run out of it. So they need it every single month, right? So a software, for example, if you build a business on a software, it's pretty sticky because you set up all the automations and you don't change that every month. You don't just go and find a new one. Like it has to be superior uh, by 10x for you to go like, okay, let me cancel this and go here. And then you find something that's really good and then you cancel it. Uh, for example, when people moved from another software to high level is because high level was really high quality and he had like all in one, like everything is working and it's the fraction of a price of like some of these other softwares. So find ways to continue offer value month of a month. And then the last one is what really triggers the flywheel effect, right? So now we have the front end, the mid, the back end, the recurring revenue, solving new problems for them. And then this one is ignite to promoters. So what would make them want to promote your business? Now, how can, how can you get them? What will make them want to promote your business? Um, so help them become promoters of your company. Could be affiliates, word of mouth. So how good do you have to be to get word of mouth? Referrals. Can you incentivize to maybe pay 10%? Affiliates, maybe 30%. Um, well, affiliates would be 30%, let's say, for a software, digital product. Referrals or affiliates for soft, uh, for services could be around 5 to 10%. And then quality product or service is the biggest one because that what makes people happy. And people ask, hey, who did this for you? Or who's got the best da-da-da? People tag you, they comment, and you, uh, you spread the word of your business by actually just being good at what you do. So that is the, um, the flywheel, those seven. Now funnels and conversions, the sales pages. And I always like to talk in terms of marketing and conversion. I like to talk about beliefs. And that's why I call this the purchase decision journey, because it's the beliefs that we have about something that determine whether we buy or not, not just the desire to want something. So the first question I ask myself is, what are all the beliefs they need in order to buy from me? Like, what are all the things they have to believe to buy from me? And once they have those, they click and they purchase. 
Or you can flip the question, what are all the beliefs they have that are holding them back from buying? Concerns, objections. This is what salespeople uh, refer to as, as uh, objection handling. So I call these conversion killer beliefs. Already tried that. It didn't work. I tried keto. I tried working at CrossFit, blah, blah. I tried making money with, with affiliate. It didn't work. So is it the thing that didn't work or is it you applying the thing that didn't work? But it doesn't matter because it's a belief. If they don't get it, if it doesn't click, it's not... It's not going to convert. They're not going to buy it. Do I have time to implement this? Can I afford this and still pay my bills on time? So if I purchase a brand new home, maybe I'm not, you know, I'm going to save money on something else instead. If I invest in this product or this service, then I also got to calculate like all the other payments that I have, right? So you're always competing for value, like value in their mind, if that makes sense. Uh, what I tell my wife or partner, what are my friends going to think of me? So status, right? all these beliefs. And the next you can ask yourself, what are the beliefs they do you need to have to buy and just list them out? And I did this for you. So there's a 12 uh, point checklist. I call it the, the buyer belief checklist. You can uh, screenshot. And here's the first ones. I want this outcome, right? Like I genuinely want the outcome and it's something I value a lot. So I do want it. I value, I see the value in it. Keep in mind, we haven't talked about the source, who's providing it, how is it delivered the, for the format, the packaging, none of that. Number two, I acknowledge I have a problem, I want it solved ASAP. So I want this outcome because it's kind of like, it's, you know, my life would be better because of it, or it's solving this like deep pain. Number three, I believe this solution will help my problem and give me a better life. Not product, I believe this solution. So the process, the mechanism, the, the step-by-step is gonna help me get there. So I can believe in keto before I believe in your keto product. I, be I can believe in uh, a marathon to help me with something, right? Let's say it's like the discipline and the training, the health of doing a marathon um, to become a more energized dad, be more present for my kids. I can believe that, but then I don't buy your product if it's not exactly, you know, the community or the product, whatever it is, my beliefs that that fits the process that I want to get the outcome. Number four, I trust that you're the right person to help me. So personality, values, those sort of things. Number five, it makes sense why I haven't been able to solve this myself yet. You know, low energy. Makes sense because I've tried, you know, all these other things and did it fix the root cause, the root, the root issue. So if you can weave all these things into sales copy, the sales message, you can see how it takes place now by having the purchase belief, the buyer belief checklist. Number six, I can see why your process is better to get this outcome because it makes sense I didn't get it with this, but it's because I didn't have accountability. It's because I didn't do this, right? I was finding myself. I was swimming um, uphills towards the flow. You know, it's coming towards me. And instead I could just like follow the flow and it'd be much easier. Number seven, it gives me hope that others have done this. So show me for proof. And then number eight, I believe that financially, this is more valuable than the co uh, cost. Um, okay. so. This is so money, like financially, is this more valuable than the price I'm paying? But also it's it's uh, it's cheaper than the opportunity cost. So the cost of not doing anything. Uh, number nine, I'm willing to fit this into my schedule, make time for my goals. Even though it's a business, I've got a busy schedule, a lot busy life. I value it enough to where I don't have the conversion killer belief of, well, I don't have time to do that because Oh, well, don't worry. We did this. So you don't have to spend a lot of time on it to get this outcome, right? See how you can uh, tweak and, and deprogram the mind. You can create customers by creating beliefs. Number 10, I know there's risk involved, but the risk of inaction is bigger, right? So how can you talk about like, what if you never change this? Like, isn't that scary? Uh, number 11, I understand the next steps to take logistically. So you know, if you buy tickets, like I know where it is, when it is, is it virtual in, you know, in person. Number 12, I feel a sense of urgency to solve this problem now rather than later. So we can use scarcity to do that as well. Hopefully that's making sense so far before we build out the sales page, right? So wanting something is not enough to buy it right now because I also need to trust the person. If I buy funnels, I need to buy from a person at a price and an offer that comes packaged this way in this time frame. Right. And even for this platform, it could be could even be if you're exclusive to one platform. So it's like the desire is here. I want this thing. And there's a pain that I'm trying to solve. But then I'm like, I'm seeing that 
you know, I'm a little bit hopeful because other people have done it, but I don't believe that I could do it. But I'm a little bit hopeful I can see how potentially I would be able to get this outcome as well. But then slowly throughout the sales page, we start building more and more belief. Okay, maybe with your vehicle. It makes sense I didn't do it with, you know, on my own with this other process because it's kind of outdated and it's it's hard work and it's hard to be consistent. But with your, now I'm kind of starting to see maybe I could do this. And man, what if I invest all this money and I don't get the results? So risk, you go down. And then finally you go up because, you know, you overcome it with risk reversal and the copy and the page um, to take an action actually buying, right? So I call this the conversion equation. Uh, some of you have heard the value equation from, from Alex Hormos, how to create offers so good, people feel stupid saying no. I remember looking at that and I thought, that's amazing. That's great for creating an offer. How do I communicate that in my sales funnels that I build for clients? And so I spent over a year, you know, continue building funnels, always thinking of I did iteration after iteration. And this is uh, an, a conversion equation for the entire sales funnel, the sales page for you to uh, convert more people because you increase the likelihood of purchase decision, right? So at the top, we're going to put everything that increases likelihood of purchase decision. At the bottom, we're going to look at what are some things that make people maybe not purchase using these beliefs and the belief builders that we were talking about the checklist so at the top we have desire credibility and ability desire i want this outcome credibility is it's kind of like the news and mainstream media if they say one thing or if it's like a division there's two sides people are like they're fighting against who's right but when there's a news event happening something's happening you obviously need to understand who's giving you that news uh, information as well. So it's the source that matters, not just the design, not just the event, not just the news. It's also who's giving this. Do I trust the person? It's the same in your business. It's desire credibility that your process, your results, your experience, your personality, your values is something that I can get behind. And then ability is because of you and what you have, my ability to get results with this now increases. Therefore, I'm more likely to purchase. Does that make sense? And then, so desire, I want this outcome, credibility, I trust you, your process, ability, I'm confident I can get, I can get results with this. And then, uh, so you can see a credibility could be personality, vehicle plus unique selling proposition. And ability just increases confidence in me because of you. And then we have priority, risk, and clarity. So obviously we don't want to decrease priority, but a lack of priority will decrease likelihood of purchase decision, right? Risk will uh, decrease likelihood of, of uh, purchase decision and lack of clarity as well. So priority is, I believe it's worth my time and money, right? So write those down, time and money. Risk, I believe in the chances of this working. Again, because I've seen other people do it, because of you and your process, and not just for other people, I believe that this can work for me too, right? So if I invest in this thing, I believe that I can get the outcome that I wanted. And then clarity, I know what the next steps are after I purchase. So I'm going like, to get the login. I'm going to get the, the ticket. I'm going to get the onboarding form. We're going to book an onboarding call, whatever it is, clarity, right? It doesn't matter how good the product is, the offer, how much I trust you and your unique process. If it's like it's missing critical information about one of the logistical uh, stuff, I call these like logistical errors in your marketing, your sales message. So money timing offers certainty and logistical concerns. That's it. So you can screenshot this as well. Now, how do we put this into a sales page? Well, in order to understand that, there's one final um, key piece that's going to help you with what to put in all the sections on the page. I call this evidence-based selling. So if I gave you a million dollars right now, could I change your beliefs about Santa Claus? I say you don't believe that Santa Claus is real. But if I gave you a million dollars, could you change it and actually believe that he's real? Could you? No, because you can't change your beliefs. That's why it's called belief, right? So it doesn't matter how much you want to change beliefs or change other people's beliefs. You can't do it. You can't just say, oh, I have an amazing offer, right? We have an amazing guarantee. That's risk reversal, right? That's value ratio. Um, but we can't change beliefs. So how do we even get them to to believe that this can work for them that we're the right person 
Well, it's evidence-based selling because new evidence is not going to change beliefs. We're going to deprogram and reprogram and create new beliefs, right? So if, if, I, uh, if I said I met Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi um, at a shopping mall yesterday, you probably wouldn't believe me, right? Um, or whoever is your favorite sports you know, heroes. Um, you probably wouldn't believe me, but then if you went to the same shopping mall tomorrow and you saw them there as well, you didn't see me there with them, but if you saw them, you would probably believe my story more because now you've also seen them, right? So new evidence would have changed a different, you know, a previous story, just as an example. So how can we use this in marketing? Well, there's four pillars of belief building. Internal and direct evidence is where I internally and directly tell you what to believe. So not... It's not in the copy, like, here's what I need you to believe. It's, hey, I can help you solve this problem. I can help you lose weight. I can help you build a business. I can help you get clients. These are promises that I internally directly tell you. So things I share about myself that I can help you with. So results. I got these results. I got this experience. I got these clients. I got this before and after. Certifications, awards, like all these things to make me the credible source with the desire to deliver it to you. Then we got external direct. So things someone else says about me, testimonials, ratings, reviews, case studies, shout outs, referrals. These are also very powerful. These two alone will make you a lot of money. Just like have big claims, back it up with a process and back it up with results for yourself and others. These two will make you a lot of money in your sales message. And then third is internal indirect. So things to share about other things. How can I talk about, you know, uh, when we did the Dean and Tony funnel, um, They've got 900,000 people coming through. We used statistics and data about the education market. And so we talked about how there's going to be a trillion dollar market. People love self-education, bettering themselves. And so you want to monetize it and capitalize on it by launching your own education programs. And that was things sharing about other things um, or uh, content about other people, other things, statistics, data that in return increases credibility because you just have more layers to your information, to your knowledge. So supporting elements like data are on topic, studies are on topic that confirm our overall message, storytelling about topic that position me as an expert, right? So add this one and now you have an even better sales message. Fourth one, ex external indirect evidence, things others do that then build trust. So externally, indirectly, it could be the fact that your personal brand is growing and great engagement on your social media, follower growth, people sharing your content. So these are, pre-funnel stuff, but it helps with the belief building to get people to uh, in, like, the, the, to get increased likelihood of purchase decision, getting more people to purchase from you. Um, it could also be if you have an offer around a keto product and you see someone you trust talk about keto being the solution, now in their mind, they're like, okay, that person, Johnny or Hannah or this person said that that's what they help people with now the position and the credibility of the person goes up because you already trust the other person talking about something so when i launched a funnel agency program and then russell bronson launched his funnel builder program that was 10 times more expensive and you know people said well Gustin, you know his program is better and it's more affordable and you should you should get that one instead that built my credibility as well and this is not you know i'm not knocking russell bronson i love russell um but that built my credibility, at least for those people who agreed with the narrative that was uh, you know, being posted on, on Facebook and in my communities. So with all that being said, by the way, I recommend you, you uh, mostly focus on these three first one, internal direct, things that you share about yourself, things that other people share about you, so testimonials and social proof, uh, and things that you share about other things that build credibility. Um, so that, that will, like you creating a unique framework for your process is going to build credibility around the offer and your ability to work with them and help them as well. So the 10 step perfect sales page, how do we put this into, um, into uh, what's it called? How do we put this into action? Um, first one, well, I just want to say real quick, I've made over six, uh, seven figures uh, without webinars or long form uh, VSL or sales letters, like feel like like a blog, you're just scrolling. Um, I've also done it without doing a tons of uh, sales calls and just focusing on cold message, cold email, just a bunch of calls. Having calendar full, like that's a nightmare for me to have all my days just full of calls. 
Instead, I autom automate sales from page to order form. Sales page, order form, confirmation page. Sales page, order form, upsell confirmation page, right? So this works for a $1 offer, $100, $1,000, $3,000. It all depends how much you've done the pre-funnel stage, right? Billing beliefs before they see the offer. So the first one is, I'm going to go quick through this, by the way. We have more in depth in all our programs and stuff, but I just want to give you, like, you can screenshot these and use it when you build out your, your pages. So first you have the big promise, the desired outcome. So pre-headline, what is it? Who's it for? Main headline, get this desired outcome or fix this deep problem. And subheadline, even if you feel like this, um, you know, and without having to do this thing, even if you feel like, you know, how to become a world-class funnel builder without being born a designer, for example, without having to build from scratch, uh, without having to use complicated Photoshop softwares, without this thing, right? So this section, you know, this hero section, uh, solves problems of who's this for, what is it, why should it care, how much is it, where do I get started? Those five things in the first five seconds in a hero section increases conversions like crazy. So if you do a lot of split testing, you should start with the section above the fold and just all these things, you know, who's it for, why should I care? Just adding social proof to your claim uh, doubles conversions in, in some cases. I've seen this with clients. So here's a few headline formulas. You can screenshot this. It says seven headline formulas, and then I got eight. So that's just, you know, hashtag over deliver, I guess. Um, so you can use this and you can even you know, add it to any AI software. I use ChatGPT a lot. And I just put all these in and I say like, here's my offer. Can you create more headlines for me, right? Um, there's also, I think I have a, here, there's positive framing and negative framing. So I can say, become a full-time funnel builder in 30 days. That's a positive. That's a gain. Pain would be, you know, uh, fix this issue, get rid of this pain. So lose weight without having to go to a gym, right? It's like removing pain. Um, fix your hiring issues in your business. Fix your conversions. That sort of thing. So example, uh, GHL. SaaS for coaches, so high level for uh, for coaches. All in one software for coaches, one simple platform to run your entire coaching business. Final software that allows you to focus on serving your clients, killing your business instead of, of worrying about the tech. Instead of this thing, get this outcome instead of this thing. Or what it, you know? How is it unique? The number one all in one software. Who is it for? Coaches, right? And so here, um, you could have uh, if this was the same software. I'm just showing this to to show you another example, because it's not always about having the exact structure. It's more about the beliefs. Remember the big promise, right? The desire, credibility, ability, priority, risk, and clarity. So uh, we have social proof here, 4.9 out of five, uh, become a world-class funnel builder. Then we get a sub headline and then get instant access. I could also, you know, if it was the same, software like this the button could be uh get a free trial instead of like create your account it would be like get a 30-day free trial no contracts cancel anytime risk reversal so yeah you can see a risk reversion uh try risk free for 14 days got a video showing it you know intrigue uh testimonial i got my first client or you know depending on what the promise is the proof, the social proof just backs that up. Credibility, you know, sales, client serve, experience, yada, yada. Here's a similar funnel, but just a different outline. So you can test them, split test. Uh, big promise, call out who is it for, social proof and credibility. Feature that, um, clients including da, da, da. Okay. Example, real example that I have is uh, just $1 per funnel template. That's unique. Uh, big promise, launch your next sales funnel in a day or less. Got, you know, subheadline explaining it. Social proof, get the templates, testimonial, would literally pay 100 times that. Uh, in the image, it says 37 proven sales funnels, and then plug and play. You know, simplicity, so ability. Credibility, ability, desire. So positive framing versus negative. That's the first one, just that alone, right? So you have a lot of ideas for what to do to, to uh, improve your page. Just on that section alone, because most people they just 
they look, is this even something I care about? They either bounce, leave the page, or they're like, oh, and let me, you know, like if you open a question on open loop, they, there's a question that they need an answer to, they're gonna keep scrolling to find the answer. Like, how are you doing this? How are you getting this results? So on and so on. Number two is empathy. So I say I can help you with this thing. Let me also share why I care about you, why this is something I'm so passionate about. So credibility slash, you know, likability. It's, it's the connections, understanding their pain. If you can, um, someone once said, the person who can best articulate the problem and the pains that the person are experiencing will also make the most money and increase the likelihood of them purchasing from them. Like, think about it. Let's say there you have a, an issue with sleep right now and you not being able to sleep is causing so many problems. And the person who could say, this is how you feel before when you're trying to sleep, you're thinking about all these things. Uh, in you know, the middle of the night, you wake up and you feel this way and then you have to go pee and then you can't fall asleep. It takes you another one hour. And then as soon as someone sneezes in the room, you wake up, <laughs> sneeze, uh, you know, so you hear a, voice, a noise, you wake up and you can't follow up. So another hour goes by. What if I told you there's one root issue for all these things? Because the person has described this so well, you would now also be intrigued to like, man, why is this person like explaining and describing exactly how I'm feeling right now? And because of that, you're also interested in, in knowing like, what's the solution then? So stakes, why should you care? Connection, I've been there, understand what you're going through. Support, you don't have to struggle anymore. I can help you, right? So here's a few headlines for that. Uh, I can screenshot this. Um, an example, not enough clients. Struggling with getting clients? Uh, it doesn't have to be complicated. Let me guess, you're working way too hard and not seeing results. Here's what's likely happening. Describe the solution. You're tired of not getting paid. You're tired of getting go uh, ghosted, all these things. So here's an example of what it could look like. It doesn't have to be like this. It can look like this, right? Problem, blah, blah, blah. Good news, I've been there. I can help you charge high ticket as well. So people will respect you. Does this sound like you? Tired of getting da 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 Here's the problem. Empathy, pain points, call out. Uh, problem with your current site? It's confusing. Low conversions, da 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 You can also have, here's the problem, which is causing you to, right? It's similar to feature benefits impact. Here's what we're going to do. You know, here's the features in this software which means that you'll be able to, so that you'll experience more da da da. Like what's the, you know, the, the exact outcome of fixing this and having these features. It's not about the things, it's the context of how the things impact your life. Opportunity vehicle. Okay, you're gonna help me with this, you understand me, how are you gonna get me there? The vehicle, the only solution, okay? So imagine like how to get clients da da da. You can also have your own framework for it. Um, here, high level is using the white label, the positioning, your own white label and platform to build the SaaS. You know, you can sell a software with a service instead of agency, do SaaS, new opportunity. Before versus after, the gap in the bridge, the old way, this sucks, here's why. New way, let me show you why it's the best, maybe the only way, if you want freedom. Comparison, here's the difference between the two, right? So you can do this with, we did this with uh, Tony and Dean and now I'm seeing it on all pages. So before the event, you're likely feeling this. After the event, you're gonna feel this. Therefore, get your free ticket. Uh, software, you're probably paying for this. You know, you're paying all this, this money. You can just do this instead, save time and money, before and after, right? Visual, um, performance. Uh, five, unique selling proposition. So position, uniqueness, benefits. Uh, it's not like the other stuff. Uh, here's what's different and why we're qualified to teach you this. So instead of a course, certification and education and community and coaching Q&A calls, uh, visual frameworks, comparison tables, artwork. Um, Chris Bellini once said in an ad, where AI drains creativity, we create authenticity. We long for originality. I built this for those who don't want something mass produced, AKA AI, right? So every art piece comes with a signature, the OS print, certificate of authenticity. That's a USP because People who like resonate with that, oh, that makes sense. Like I want something for my office, but I don't want it AI generated. I want it custom made, designed by someone. Let me get this, let me support him, you know? Uh, roadmaps, unique roadmaps or processes, blueprints to getting a result. Number six, offer position, the no brainer deal. Packaging, offer stack, price anchoring. So here's like all the different um, content, like the actual images and text, but here's the psychology behind it. Big promise, social proof, offer, visuals, testimonial, 
Bridge to offer, deliverables, price anchor, call to action, trust badges, risk reversal, urgency. Boom. Double the conversions. What's inside? So you can expand on it. Increase perceived value. Here's what you get. So that you can. Benefit, features, benefits, and impact. Get the funnel template so you don't have to launch from scratch. You can increase your uh, conversions, make more money, have more freedom. Because these are built on proven uh, frameworks that I have because of all the years I've spent building funnels. Right, so you position it very uniquely. Social proof, just back it up with testimonials, ratings, reviews, authority by association. Clients include this. I've seen on, you know, PR. So it can be image testimonials. It can be uh, featured on these magazines or clients that I work with. Award certifications, video testimonials, case studies, all those things. Number eight, uh, risk reversal guarantee, payment plan or trial. You can have money back guarantee. You can have action based book guarantee. We say, you know, just follow this. We're very confident. Just do it. Send us proof that you did this and we'll give you the money back, right? Free trial decreases risk. Instead of 14 days, you get a 30 day free trial to high level, uh, which by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, link in the description to high level, highly recommended to build all these uh, revenue streams out. Highlights, uh, here's what I'm able to do. So you know that I'm not full of it. Um, the epiphany moment almost quit, but then I discovered this thing. So stories help bridge the gap between like, why are you so passionate about this thing? Remember how I told the story about the funnels? Okay, that makes sense. Like that's when you realize you need a system to track something, funnels. The result, because of this new discovery, here's how my life changed. Because of funnels, I made six figures in, in social media marketing. I made seven figures and beyond in funnels and sales funnels. So name, personal name, uh, authority bio, highlights, so credibility and person. So you can have the highlights of like, um, instead of having your story be about, you know, I love um, uh, cooking fancy dinners uh, on the weekends and especially if it's steaks and yada, yada. It has to be about the story that they care about. You know, how did you discover this? How have you been able to, like, what have you done to make me believe that I should even listen to you? Right. So the source of the desired outcome of the promise, the big promise. So Epiphany, I failed my first company miserably, almost uh, gave up. Result, final discover sales funnels, everything changed. Obviously, this is a simplified version of it, but uh, you get the point. Urgency number 10, take action today. So scarcity, countdown timers, fear of missing out. Um, example could look something like this. You just you know increase some of that scarcity. Sold out, early bird pricing. And then finally, after that bonus section is the FAQ. Remember clarity, logistical concerns. Just have FAQ of like all the things that they could think about, or at least like five to seven. And then you're going to increase your conversions because um, now you've built all the other beliefs. It's just about clarity and overcoming concerns and objections. And remember, there's no one size, uh, one size fits all. That you have to have this section before this one, you know, and all this stuff. And, and I built this to prove it to you. So I built five types of layouts. You can see here, the top section is even is the same, uh, but it's to, to illustrate that this section here keeps changing, right? So sometimes you have like become a world-class funnel builder in 30 days. And then sometimes you have a testimonial right under it. Like on one of my offers, Russell once called me, Gustin is the celebrity funnel builder, right? And he did it on video. So I had it where I could put a testimonial right under the, above the fold, um, the hero section, so that when I introduce myself and my vehicle, someone who already understands or are familiar with Russell Brunson would say, if Russell calls him a celebrity funnel builder, let me at least look into this person. So I get them to scroll more. And in split testing and uh, you know heat maps and everything, scroll maps, we're trying to get people, or scroll depth, we're gonna, trying to see how much people scroll on the page. The more time they spend with you, the higher the likelihood of them purchasing from you increases. Um, so you can see here, like sometimes you'll have, you know, you'll have the your unique framework, your method. You'll have it up here um, right after the problem. The problem is this. Well, we have a method that can help you do this. And here's the before and after. And here's why it's different. And then here's the offer. So it's first, you have a problem and a desire. Well, here's why you haven't been successful because you've tried everything else. You haven't tried this. You got to use this process. It's proven. And you can even have your epiphany. I was struggling with the same thing. 
it wasn't until I did funnel building as a funnel consulting um, perspective or, or positioning that I landed high ticket deals. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Now I want the program that teaches me how to do this. Understand how how to um, to structure that. So it's more about the beliefs than like the actual exact section that you put at one place. Because the goal is, you know, with the page is desire, pain, hope, belief, risk, and action, right? So then if you want to simplify your sales message to get all of these in place, to overcome those beliefs, create new beliefs, and get them to purchase, you can just ask yourself nine simple questions, right? And you can even put into chat GPT. Who are you selling to? Uh, what transformation are you selling? What objections do they usually have? What are the biggest problems they have? How do you help them get from current situation to a dream destination? What's something they've tried in the past? Why didn't it work? What are the results of you solving these issues for them? Where do you start serving them and where does the path lead? When can they got, uh, start working with you, right? So you can screenshot these as well. And here's another uh, page that you can screenshot. And this will help you just figuring out like how to get clarity on everything. Because from here, you can create your USP, your mechanism, your social proof to back up um you know all the things that you are claiming that you can help them with with the big promise right then you know you can even put into chat dp like i said you can say my name is Susana. i build sales funds for course creators can you fill out these nine questions for me be creative use your imagination your freedom to, to write anything you see fit and it's going to give you a good start it's not going to be perfect some things you're going to want to give context um to chat gpt or any other ai tool to be like, hey, by the way, here's a testimonial someone said, or here's why people love us. Here's why they say we're unique, or here's what other people are doing wrong that we fix. You know, so you have, if you have a unique product or service, or maybe it's like more all in one, or maybe you take care of more stuff, or maybe you also do this part, then add that into the context when you ask for these nine things, and you can start expanding on the sales page. Um, you can even say, here's the 10 sections, the perfect sales page structure. Use that when you write me sales copy, right? So I have a seven process, seven step process to writing AI copy that I use, uh, to write copy for my funnels. Um, and that one helps, helps a lot as well, but join our programs, go check that out. Um, but if not use this information, uh, to the best of your ability to launch sales funnels on the front end, back end. Uh, multiple income streams, passive and active. And with that said, thank you so much. Hope you found this valuable. Uh, check all of our resources in the description and I'll see you in the next one.